Yeah, g'day, Carl. Congratulations on, on the win. You, you've got your first three points now of the season. Uh, importantly, a, a clean sheet. Second half that pleased you the most? Yeah, I think so. Obviously, I'll have to watch it back again. You know, I, I said to the boys, we started slow last week, you know, in the first 30 minutes and we're a goal behind. Probably should have been two goals. Uh, you can't start games of football like that, especially against Wellington. We knew it would be a tough game because the way they play. So I challenged the boys to stay in the game and win the individual battles, and they did. Second half, then, I think it opened up a little bit. Uh, obviously, we got our noses in front and then played a lot more. Played, played with a bit more confidence, enjoyment, obviously, and had a little bit more control in the match. So, please, for the boys, they put a lot of work in tonight, um, as they have in the first three games of the season. But it's always nice to get your first win, as you know. A very tight defensive performance to, uh, tonight. How much of that was from the lessons that you learnt against the Jets? It probably wasn't wasn't the the best offensive performance not like this week, or was a lot of it uh, from the training ground this week as well? Yeah, a little bit of both, to be honest. You know, obviously they play a different shape. They play similar to Sydney. You know, with a four four two, with a you know, we all know the the, the rhythms that they have and the uh, the phases that they play. Uh, different to Newcastle, who played a four three three. So. We had to adjust a few things we did. We went with a different uh, dynamic in midfield to try and block up spaces. Uh, and it worked. Like you said, he, he, they cut us through a few times and obviously had a couple of chances, which, you know, in any game of football that teams are going to have. But when they get through, it's important you recover, you, you track back, and it's important you defend your box. Uh, and that's one thing I thought we did excellently again tonight. We did it well last week against Newcastle uh, to put our bodies on the line because you've got to do that. Defending is an art. Defending, you've got to enjoy defending, you've got to smile, you've got to high-five each other when you make blocks and tackles and you've got to take one. Sometimes we don't want to take one. I thought we'd done that today. Hey, Pete. Hey, Carl. Congratulations on the win, mate. I'm just, I'm just thinking, given, you know, um, the first two weeks, you know, you kept a clean sheet, 2-0 win. Are you looking at this as, you, you know, a springboard after those first kind of two weeks where you said, you know, you were disappointed in how the guys played? Well, again, you know, don't take my words literally. I was disappointed with how the boys played at, in some phases of the game. Yeah. You know, in the first 30 minutes last week, uh, we weren't at the races. We know that, and you can't do that. The last 60 minutes, I thought we were in a lot more control, played our stuff, obviously scored, scored a couple of goals as well, and should have scored probably more. But uh, I think today was all, all about rolling your sleeves up and fighting and competing, which we did. And then as the times, you know, arose, then you play your football. But we didn't want to, you know, we like to build, we like to play from the back, um, you know, but we know, also know that they like to press from the front, you know, and that is one trigger for them that they do press. So we just took it out of their hands and we went long from goal kicks. You know, that won't happen next week. You know, I'll change it up again. We changed formation again this week. We went to a 4-3-3 rather than a, or a 4-1-4-1, rather than a 4-4-2 or a 4-3-3, so a 4-2-3-1. So don't get caught up in formations. Don't get caught up in things like that. It's little adjustments within the game, depend on the, the personnel and the team we're playing, which play different formations as well. OK. <laughs> if that makes sense. Only New Zealand, have yeah. you guys got any questions? Yeah. Carl, Andrew Vorman here from Stuff in New Zealand. Um, Tommy Hemmings blatantly fouled Kevin Elliott before that goal. Um, how does it feel to have gone ahead for a goal that shouldn't have stood? Hi, Andrew. Um, well, I haven't, again, it's not the old man, the adage of a manager saying he's blatantly fouled. I have not seen it. Um, it uh, literally, actually, as he scores, or, or in he what phase? Over and then the ball, and then he goes into the goalkeeper, and then the goalkeeper misses the ball. Uh, oh, he did. He then, pushed him like that with his hands, like you showed me, did he? He's pushed him like that. Right, OK. It. Well, listen, I don't know if he's pushed him, then obviously it's one that has been missed. But, you know, sometimes you get given and sometimes you don't. I think there was three instances with Bernie Abini in the, in the first half where he's running down the line and, and the, the full-back, apparently Bernie pushed him. It's not a foul. He's fallen over on the ball. And I think two or three times that happened. So whether that has had an impact in the game or swayed it, sometimes you get given, sometimes you don't. You know, when you do as a manager, you're happy, and when you don't, clearly you're not happy. Um, but you can complain about anything in life if you want, but I don't. Yeah, I guess you mentioned, you know, you could have been two or so behind, you know, for your side to be able to hang in there and then yeah. to get a moment like that, you know, it shows how important it was to, you know, persist and to still be alive in the game. Yeah, I, I don't think we should be too behind this game. I, I thought that was last game. I thought, obviously, they had their chance with the offside goal. I believe it was offside. 
um, when the centre forward put the ball in the back of the net. Obviously, you need a little bit of luck sometimes when you're defending. Um, if that goes in, it changes the dynamic of the game, for sure. The first goal in any game is very important, but it's important you don't lose your emotional control you know, as, as a manager as well as, a, as players. And you've got to just be calm and let the players play. The players play the game. You know, so we've done our work Monday to Friday, obviously Monday to Thursday today. The players have just performed on Friday and they've executed a, a fantastic away performance, keeping a clean sheet and scoring two wonderful goals, even though I'm surprised where the second goal come from and who scored. I mean, just on Tommy, you know, obviously he's a former Phoenix player. You've picked him up this season. Um, how are you liking what you're seeing from him? So brilliant, far? brilliant, brilliant guy. Uh, he's exactly what he, he says he is. Uh, he's genuine. He's honest. He's humble, he's got so much humility, he's professional, he's a leader. Uh, we're very, very lucky to have him, like Wellington were lucky to have him last year, you know, but whenever it's normal in football that players play against their old clubs and, and as centre forwards you want to score against your old clubs and that lot, you know, obviously Wellington are disappointed tonight. I'm delighted for the Wanderers fans who travelled down in the thousands that Toma gets his goal. Although you say it's a foul, I'll take the goal. Um, but we're lucky we won 2-0 then, aren't we? So that might not count. <laughs> Cool, thank you. Okay, no problem, Andrew. Any final questions, Joe? Just, um, on Jack Rodwell, he got yeah. through 82 minutes. So what did you make of, make of his performance and where's he at? Yeah, really strong, to be fair. You know, I, I got asked that in the first two games about when is he going to play. I think everyone wants to watch him play. He's a terrific player. We all know about his pedigree. You know, the challenge was when do you throw him in? Do you throw him in too early and he picks up, you know, an injury and then you miss him for a couple of games? I didn't want to do that. You know, so he's trained hard. But I just felt it was the right game. The dynamic of the game was going to be right for Jack. Um, how I thought the flow would go, it did. Um, obviously, he got a knock early in the game. I think then it would have been easy just to bring him off and be very, very safe. But he got through it. So sometimes players need to get through uh, the mental side of it as well. He got through it. But at 80 minutes, he told me he wanted to come off. Uh, and when a player says that, you have to you know, trust them. They know their body. You know, we trust, I trust my players. And when they say they, they've had enough, same with Toma. Toma was carrying a little bit of cramp in his calf in the last five minutes, but I needed him to get through. And then when the second goal went in, I took him off. So uh, very strong performance, not just by him, but the two midfield players with him, Terry, who also was getting up to speed, and Stevie. Uh, I thought they were excellent in there against a very good Wellington midfield. Well, good, guys. Thank you very much. Well, yeah. well, just one last one, mate. You've got the FFA Cup on, on we Tuesday, have. right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you going to be making mass changes or are there some guys you want to see more of? You know, what's the situation there? Well, we've got a very good squad. Uh, I've got tremendous faith in my young players, I think, as you know. So some of the younger players will play, for sure. Um, it's a game we've got to take very seriously, and we will. So you're not going to see totally wholesale changes. We'll, you will see a lot of changes. Uh, I say a lot, you know, one hand maybe, or a little bit more than one hand. Um, so you can work that one out. But... You know, I've got my goalkeeper will change. I'll play Margs. You know, he's been very patient in the first three games. He deserves to play. Uh, and there's other players that come on subs here that will play as well. But that's why you have a squad. Um, but we, it's, a, it's a really tricky game for us. But it's an important game that we need to go and win because we want to get through that round.